John, we're live. Recording to the PC has begun. Recording to the cloud in progress as well. Backup Thank is you. rolling. Thank you. Good morning and welcome to today's remote New York City Council hearing vote for the Committee on Housing and Buildings. At this time, would all panelists please turn on their videos for verification purposes and to minimize disruption, we ask you to please place your electronic devices to vibrate or silent mode. Thank you for your cooperation. Chair Cornegie, we are ready to begin. Uh, thank you. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for coming. I'm Council Member Robert Cornegie, Chair of the Council's Committee on Housing and Buildings. We're here to hold a vote on two bills, one that will help beautify our city and one that will protect tenants from penalties for vacating a residence before the end of their lease term. Proposed intro number 16, 1635A, sponsored by Majority Leader Lori Cumbo, will require the Department of Cultural Affairs, or DCLA, to establish a program to solicit artwork to be placed on sidewalk sheds and scaffolding. The Department of Buildings would be required to approve 40 works of art solicited by DCLA together with 10 works of art received by, I'm sorry, together with three, together with 10 works of art received by solicitation from other agencies. Owners of properties with, with sidewalk sheds and scaffolding would be required to select the piece of artwork, either from the solicited artwork or by seeking site-specific artwork, although properties, property owners would also be able to opt out. This bill will help improve the city's landscape by turning common eyesores into canvases. Proposed intro number 2312A, sponsored by Council Member Riley, would limit the fees that a landlord can charge a tenant who vacates a residence before the expiration of a lease. The landlord is required to mitigate damages, i.e. attempt to re-rent the premises for their remainder of the lease term. Where a tenant breaks a lease, the bill would allow a landlord to collect certain costs related to preparing a unit for re-rental from the tenant who breaks such a lease, but would not allow a landlord to collect any additional cost, penalties, or fees. I apologize, I cannot see who I'm joined by, so if the committee clerk or the um, council staff would please announce. I can only see, for whatever reason, uh, Council Member Carlina Rivera. Hey, Carlina. Um, I, but I know that we do have a full house, so if you could somehow. Uh, Good morning, Chair. Thanks so much. Uh, I'll just uh, um, welcome Council Members Cabrera, Council Chin, Jonai, Gredenchik, Lewis, Rivera, uh, and Rosenthal of the committee who are here with us. And uh, we're also joined by Council Member Yeager Thank and Major you. Majority Leader Cumbo. Thank you. Um, Majority Leader Cumbo, would you like to say something on your bill? Of course I would. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Council Member Cornegie, and thank you so much for chairing this committee hearing today. This is such an important topic, and I, I certainly appreciate you prioritizing it um, in the midst of many members wanting to pass bills um, before the session closes out. So I am very appreciative of it. When we talk about scaffolding and we look at those green scaffolds that are placed all over our city, we know it's just ugly. Every single building under construction in this city is painted dark forest green. Like a barrage of visual noise lacking any value whatsoever, we are besieged with this constant reminder of uniformity of bland uniformity. Anyone walking down our streets knows this site. It's on our scaffolding and our pedestrian sheds. These structures dominate so much of our city. For too long, our city has been deplorable in its ability to showcase the vibrant and prolific art community that exists here. Yet before our eyes, we have unlimited structures that could be a virtual blank canvas for our community. That opportunity for artists to showcase gives each and every one of us an opportunity to show everyone the talent that is here and share its creativity and beauty. Look, we know New York City is the epicenter of art and culture. We cannot allow for scaffolding that's painted in this dark green to overrun our city. Our artists need the opportunity to create. They need the ability to showcase their talent and creativity. 
Over the last few years, street artists came to the World Trade Center to bring more life to the rest of the construction site that existed there. These paintings and installations have been well received and take attention away from the ongoing work that is occurring there. Construction sites across the city can do the same simply by working with artists who are ready to get to work on projects. That's why I've introduced legislation that will bring these structures to life by requiring the Public Design Commission to commission art pieces at construction sites annually. Addition to encourage more artwork across the city on these structures, this legislation would permit business owners to work with artists to install artwork on these temporary structures themselves. Not only artists do artists get a chance to have a public space to display their work, but owners can show their commitment to neighborhoods that they are doing work in. The possibilities of art that can come from this new initiative is endless. And with the abundance of artists here, the, the variety of artwork can be as well. Arts and culture have always been what makes New York City a place of attraction. It brings people here from all over the world. We should be continuing to encourage these communities and giving them the space they need to express themselves. We can do so and at the same time rid our city of an eyesore and bring our streets to life. I also want to add that this dynamic is a way of life for so many countries across the world. This is really a no brainer. We need to make sure that our artists have opportunities to exhibit their work, that we bring light and vibrancy to communities, that we employ our artists to be able to have an opportunity to have their work visually seen. Every community deserves the ability to have their art, culture, and creativity exhibited throughout New York City. Art is the soul of our city, and in everything we do, art should be at the table in determining how we move forward. Thank you. Thank you so much, Majority Leader Combo. Thank you for your passion around the arts, uh, and thank you for uh, fighting to the bitter end to make sure that <laughs> it's beautified in a way. I, I mean, I, I mean that with all seriousness. No one has demonstrated, uh, you and Jimmy Van Bramer, uh, quite frankly, have dem demonstrated a real true commitment uh, to the vibrancy of the city through the arts, and I really truly appreciate it. My children have benefited from it. Uh, so many children across the city will continue to benefit it from, from it because of your staunch commitment to that. So thank you. Thank you. I believe this is the part where I ask the committee clerk to call the roll. Unless Council Member Riley is here and would like to speak on his bill. If not, uh, committee clerk, would you please call the roll? William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on housing and buildings on proposed introduction 1635A and 2312A. Both items are coupled. Chair Corning. I vote aye. Thank you. Cabrera. Aye. Chin. Aye. Rosenthal. I vote aye. Congratulations. Gordenchik. I vote aye, and for the record, I do like forest green, but I do understand that other people might not like it. So I congratulate Council Member Cumbo on this legislation, and we'll be looking forward to seeing what uh, develops from it. Thank you. Jonai. Aye. Rivera. I vote aye. Lewis. I vote aye. Thank you, one moment. A vote of eight in the affirmative, zero in the negative and no abstentions. Both items have been adopted by the committee. Uh, this, today's hearing on housing and buildings, I'm sorry, today's vote on housing and buildings. Uh, if we don't have any outstanding members and we don't need to hold it open, I will bring this hearing to a close. I'll go for one second. Yes, sir. We're, we're good to close.